Hello, Cem Tezcan here. In this video I'm going to show you how to prevent some areas not to be affected by the rain material. Actually the, I'm mentioning about the dynamic rain volume. Let me show you what I mean by that. You see that once you add the rain material to your project you will see that there is a rain material folder appeared and under that there are maps that can be used to uh, get the existing materials from. For example, this untitled level shows the general usage of this rain material. For example, you can see that there is drops on the camera which is a post-process effect and you see that there is a translucent animated material. This is the normal map applied to uh, normal map applied to an existing material to make it uh, to manipulate it to look like it's on the rain. And finally, this is the dynamic rain volume that needs nothing to modify while you're applying it. For example, if I move this volume away, you will see that all the materials are what they are. And if I move this over any area, the drops and splashes are applied according to the topology of the geometry of these meshes. But you see that there are there may be some areas for everyone to keep it not affected by the rain. For example, if we add a cube here and let's use it as a shelter on our level design and you will see that you don't want this cube is not affected by the rain. For that, I'm clicking to the mesh that I don't want to be affected from the rain and from the pre um, mesh um, parameters, I am looking for receives decals option for that mesh. If I disable it, the existing material turns to the dry state and not affected for the material. And for the particles, you need to add a collision which is out of the subject of this video. I'm disabling the particles and for this material, you will see that the cube is now dry. And if I re-enable the stick and you will see that the flows and the general reflections or the roughness manipulation is applied to that mesh. If I disable it back, you will see that roughness turns back to its normal state for this material and it's not having the flows and the splashes around. Let me delete the top shape. I'm not sure why. Yeah, the decal is not refreshed itself. And if I re-enable this decal option, you will see that this mesh is turned back to its normal state while it's been affected by this dynamic rain volume. So you can split your meshes to different parts to control them to receive uh, whether they need to receive decals or not to make it to control the rain itself. Otherwise, you need to move the general volume over different levels to keep these objects not affected. For example, you can move this volume away from this cube to make it dry and the rest of the objects will still be getting affected. And if you have different sets of objects, you can duplicate this volume actor and move this to other side or on top of the existing volume. So this way you can isolate different areas to control the objects whether they need to they need to be affected by the rain or not. So this is the easiest way to control this rain volume related to the meshes 
to receive drops or not. Thanks for watching.